Excel tutorial Sharp Ratio Performance Metric Portfolio performance metrics consist of portfolio expected or realized risk premium by unit of risk. This topic is part of investment portfolio analysis with Excel Curse. Feel free to take a look at Curse curriculum by clicking link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of this video. Sharp ratio consists of portfolio expected or realized risk premium by unit of risk. For full reference, I recommend that you read William Sharp, The Sharp Ratio, published in the Journal of Portfolio Management in 1994. As a formula, first we have the ex ante Sharp Ratio, in which the expected portfolio return Sharp Ratio is equal to, and within the numerator we have the expected risk premium, risk premium as a difference between portfolio returns minus the risk premium return, which is then divided by the expected risk premium standard deviation, here standard deviation with the Greek letter sigma. And then we have the ex post Sharp ratio or realized Sharp ratio of portfolio returns, which is equal to, and within the numerator, we have the portfolio returns mean minus the risk free rate of return mean, which is then divided by the risk premium standard deviation. Notice that for this formula, we can also use, instead of the risk free rate of return, we can use a benchmark rate of return. If the risk free rate return is not constant through time, and then here we have as an example the ex post or real sharp ratio formula, in which the portfolio returns sharp ratio is equal to, and within the numerator we have the portfolio returns mean minus the risk free rate return mean, which is then divided by the risk premium standard deviation, again risk premium as a difference between portfolio returns minus the risk free rate of return. If the risk free rate of return is constant through time, then the portfolio return sharp ratio is equal to, and within the numerator we have the portfolio returns mean minus that constant risk free rate of return, which is then divided by the portfolio return standard deviation. And lastly, for simplicity purposes, we assume a 0% risk free rate, then the portfolio return sharp ratio is equal to, and within the numerator we have the portfolio returns mean which are then divided by the portfolio return standard deviation. Great, so let's go into our Excel file so that we can study sharp ratio with greater detail. Excellent, so here we are within sharp ratio performance metric Excel file. So first we'll begin within the orange colored sharp ratio data worksheet. Within it, we have two columns of data, column A, column B, column A with dates, column B with SPY. So here we have dates, and these dates are with a monthly frequency, and if we select A6, and then we click, press Ctrl down arrow, we go into the end of the time series, we see that it goes all the way into the end of 2016, therefore we have 10 years of data with a monthly frequency. So again, we press Ctrl up arrow, down arrow, so we go into the beginning of the column. And here we have for SPY, this corresponds to SPY ETF investment vehicle adjusted close prices arithmetic returns. As we have data with a monthly frequency, therefore this will be monthly arithmetic returns. SPY corresponds to the ETF investment vehicle, which intends to replicate the Standard & Poor's 500 index and adjusted close prices because they were adjusted for dividends and splits. So now that we have the data ready, we can continue with the sharp ratio calculation within its corresponding worksheet. So within it, at column B, we have the following calculations. First, at B7, we do the calculation of the average monthly return. So we select B7 and we see within the formula bar the built-in Excel function of average of sharp ratio data from B6 to B125, meaning that we have those monthly arithmetic returns from the first one to the last one in that data worksheet we just studied. And then we do the calculation of the monthly standard deviation. So we select cell B8 and we see within the formula bar the built-in Excel function of STDE 
sample.s. So this is sample standard deviation of that same data, which is sharp ratio data from B6 to B125. And then we're going to do the calculation of the monthly sharp ratio. Notice that it's a monthly sharp ratio because we have the data of those monthly arithmetic returns. And here we're including the assumption of a 0% risk free rate. We're doing this as an educational example for simplicity purposes. Therefore, it is not fixed and it can be modified according to your needs. So if we select here B9, we see the calculation of that monthly sharp ratio assuming a 0% risk free rate equals to B7, which is the average monthly return divided by B8, which is the monthly standard deviation. Excellent. So now that we finished starting sharp ratio calculation, let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please, pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this, we finish this tutorial. Thank you for watching.